arms work just as hard as our legs. Fire up your triceps. Your hips are dipping, always the option to come down to the knee. Not as a weakness, but as a sense of strength, something that's empowering. Namaste. Hey yogis, I am here today with some boat drills for us. Uh, so boat pose is a really great way to build core strength, um, but there are a lot of ways you can spice it up. So if you're kind of uh, not as new to yoga, maybe you're kind of into boat, it's not so challenging for you anymore. Um, there are a lot of ways to spice it up. So I wanna throw some of those at you today. Boat is one of those poses that I encourage people who are really trying to build core strength to do every day if you can. Um, I'm not asking you to do a five minute boat or a full yoga practice, but if you're really committed to building your core strength, getting stronger, um, if you can do boat for like 30 seconds, a minute a day, that's awesome. So uh, if you want to use that as part of your regimen, this will help you keep it fresh and interesting. So starting with a typical boat, if you haven't done it before, you're gonna sit on your mat or on the ground, remove any extra love out from underneath you so that you're nice and firm on your sit bones. Grab behind your thighs, lift up through your chest so your, spice, your spine is nice and long. And then you're gonna lean back until you feel your core engage. So for those of us who are really new to boat, really new to yoga, really trying to work on core strength, then this might be as far as we get, and that's awesome, as long as you feel your belly working. Those of us who want a little bit more, maybe lifting our feet off the ground. Those of us who can do a little more, arms come out. A little bit more, legs come out. Now, here's where we can start to spice things up, okay? You can lower your legs down while keeping your chest high, so really working those low abs. Bringing the knees into the chest, really try to keep the inner thighs together, that's the hardest part for me, and lifting the legs back up straight. So down to the chest and up. Down to the chest and up. And now the longer you hold each of those variations, obviously the more challenging it becomes. Another way you can do these are just lower. So you can go into your boat, lower your chest, lower your legs, come back up, lower down, and whoo, maybe not, <laughs> and up. All right, extra credit points if you can do it while you're talking. That's just my excuse, it's, uh, that was just me being tired. All right, uh, another option. This one's a little bit more uh, balance challenge, actually. So we don't typically think of boat as like a balance pose, but if you get your legs vertical enough, it, you really do have to think about how you're balancing your weight. So if you can get into your boat, and grab your big toes. This might already be enough of a balance challenge for a lot of us, this is not super easy. If you want a little bit more, you start to change it up by opening up your legs and closing them back together. And opening up and closing together. Now if any of these boats, we start to collapse and round through the chest, we need to go back to a different version. You wanna have your spine nice and long and then when you're ready to come out, you just come out. Now, last option I'll show you. If you're a lady and you have a little bun or a ponytail in your head, I suggest removing it, all right? I like to call this one rocking the boat, okay? So if we can grab, you'll wanna to move towards the, the front of your mat. So um, if you have a wall or something behind you, get whatever you need to get out of the way. Grab onto your toes, find that boat variation we just found, and then you're gonna to start to rock the boat back almost doing like a plow, and then rocking back up to your boat. So it might help to bend the knees as you come back, and bending the knees as you come back up, and then straightening. So it's just a little bit of added challenge. Woo! Didn't quite make it up that time, all right? So it's fun to practice. Um, one thing when you do go back into your plow type position, uh, don't go looking side to side. So while your head is on the floor, don't try to watch me doing that video. I should have said that before. I probably rolled around on the ground. But, <laughs> but maybe, maybe you didn't do it. If you do it, don't do it next time, all right? Um, but anyway, those are four different boat variations that you can kind of use to spice up your boat practice. So um, I hope you guys enjoy those. If you are enjoying the free videos, go over to my Patreon channel and check out what else I have to offer. There's full-length videos there every month, full-length practices, um, extra tutorials, I take requests. Um, so anything you might wanna see, go hit me up over there. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, namaste.